Hello everybody, Brios here and for you guys today, I have a build that you might have seen on the modern day battlefield because this particular build has been making the rounds and that's because it's awesome so it's gaining popularity but before we go into the build, let me talk about the 85 ton clan battle mech, the Marauder 2C which is an assault mech and being a Marauder mech, it has pretty nice hitboxes basically, the side torsos are easy to isolate so you can present the right side to shield the left and vice versa pretty interesting hitboxes and yep this build is pretty vicious so what exactly is this build well this is a dual hack 30 build with seven tons of ammunition lots of it more than enough for quick play and two er large lasers for additional laser firepower sometimes we call this a hack vomit build and they are all pretty brutal so much so that you might expect to see hack changes coming up in the October patch because I wouldn't say they're OP but combined with lasers they are kind of overperforming so yep I expect some tweaks uh, this build runs an XL325 engine so it gives it a speed of 61.9 um, I have 15 double heat sinks and even a TCOM Mark 1 to increase the range of the lasers and velocity of the gauze and the optimal range of both weapons is over a thousand kilometers with this build pretty good at long range even though gauze at long range just spreads damage but once you close into mid range the gauze 30 really does a lot of work as you see in the gameplay and one thing good about marauder 2c's is their tankiness because they have good hitboxes if you look at the quirks here it doesn't get much armor quirks just a bit in the side torsos i honestly feel marauder 2c's with the huge side torsos should get a bit of a larger buff uh, but it is what it is i see what i can do about that uh, it gets a range boost of 10, hence the 1000 over meter range optimal for both weapon systems and a cooldown of 10% allows them to fire its both weapon systems pretty often. Uh, this results in the mech being rather hot but with the dual hit hack 30s and 15 double heat sinks, if you are overheating just don't fire the ER large lasers. And of course it has ECM so that makes it easier to play. And if you look at these skills, um, look at firepower. I've gone for all the range and all the heat gen. That's additional 15% range and additional 8.4% reduction in the heat. For the hex, I've gotten velocity nodes and magazine capacity, allowing me to get 15% boost to the hex, more ammunition, and two nodes of gauze charge allows me to hold the charge 1.5 seconds longer. Really good for pre-charging and waiting for the enemy. For the ER large lasers, I've got four nodes of laser duration, reducing the burn time by 10%, really important if you're using lasers, and because it's a big slow chunky boy with those, well, good but also bad hitboxes because, well, it's chunky and huge, especially from the side, gotten all the skeletal density and all the armor hardening nodes, giving it an 18% armor and a 33% structure, but it's still a bit fragile so gotta be really careful. For mobility, I've gotten only six nodes of heartbreak, allowing it to slow down a bit better, that's always a problem with mechs, the deceleration. Um, six nodes of torso speed allows me to twist the torso really fast. So 30% boost to the torso twist speed. So I can take damage in one side, quickly twist and present the other side. Um, in terms of operations, I've gotten five nodes of cool run for 10% increase in heat dissipation. Three nodes of hill climb to boost the hill climbing speed. It doesn't jump, so that's always a problem. Two nodes of enhanced ECN system. Um, well. If you're using ECM, always get this. With this, when you're about 350 to 400 meters away from the nearest enemy, you don't appear on their minimap, so always fight 400 plus meters away from the enemy. Uh, like I said, it has an optimal range of 1000 over meters for this build, but best to fight around 500 meters where your hex and mid range just wrecks the enemy with the amount of DPS it shits out. One note of advanced zoom, because well, who doesn't want to see better? Um, only one node of consumables that allows me to carry two consumables and that's it. So that's the simple dual hag, dual ear large build. Um, you might see this on a modern day battlefield. Um, it's pretty brutal so try not to trade with it. The alpha is pretty huge but as like I said, the side torsos are a good thing and a bad thing because you can twist quickly to present left side or right side spreading the damage if you play defensively. But if you catch a uh, Marauder 2C like this, unaware, it's really easy to hit the right torso. All these red areas are basically right torso. So anyway, that's it for you guys for the Marauder 2C-D Delta variant. Um, really done good. So anyway, let's get down to the gameplay and I'll show you this awesome mech in battle. Let's go. 
and here I am on Emerald Vale for the very first showcase match. And in this particular match, I was dropping with viewers as I was streaming live on my Twitch channel, namely dropping with Sneaky Snake, Blue Devil Spawn, and Vasily. And on this particular match on Emerald Vale, we spawn on the western side. And when I spawn there, I like to make the call to push the left side along Delta Line. So it's an early fight because early fight, early shooting is better than running around. And we made calls to go up the slope, balling up around Charlie 4. Unfortunately, it is... Uh... Oh, let's all the ball. scale shitters coming from our spawn. Yep. I see them all. No I mean, man, Data, you're running into like three scale shots over there. This is just an FYI. Yeah, Yeah, might as well. 
Data, cause uh. Yeah, okay, just cap when you can and defend it. I'm gonna go to cap as fast as I can. Let's let's go cheetah. Let's go. Yeah, we have a light at cap. Though. So yes. Oh, I found somebody. Somebody shot me. Explosion detected. Oh, yeah. Yes. He was caught. Goss ammo at 25. Good hiding though. Get the cap, I cap, get the cap, I cap. What's this guy doing? Delios, do you mind capping? Thank you. Is he he is, he was just doing, um, he was just Target pogoing acquired. to Target see that he's being snuck up on or not. Yeah, okay. Kappa is under control. There he is, the pirate's being. Aw, oh, Bonsoon says, we said no to caps, you go for kills. Yeah, that's the way it should be. It's a nice fight here though, look at all the corpses. Pirates Bane, Echo 2. Yeah, they um, pushed up, we basically just hit the assaults. Just yep. pop them. Oh, I'm gonna to try and cut them off before you can get the Epsilon. Yeah. Okay, let it come to Epsilon. Cheetah, uh, Cheetah, just shoot him to disrupt the home cap, please. Just shoot him. He is. Where is the last one? He is one? now going towards the uh, cheetah. Sigma, yeah. Oh. Affirmative. We've collected 75% of the resources. Keep holding on. And the cheetah ran out of the casino. Yeah, That's smart. He's on me. Oh, look. Free max. <laughs> Target spotted. Probably killed me, but let's see. Still alive, Wop Wop. Target spotted. Come on, Wop Wop. Come into the open where I can see. Target destroyed. No, Wop Wop. Victory is ours. <laughs> I think you leaked one of the skill shots, Ambar. I want the skill shots was leaked early. Somebody called it up. Oh, five kills for okay, KMDD. I survived. Nice. 700 over 1000 C bills. Wow. That's a lot of C bills. That Evil match call. Evil match call. Like, so that last match on Emerald Vale was certainly fun and even though the fight was mostly brawl, this build, even with its 1000 meters range, well, can more or less hold its own in brawl. And like I said, it has tanky hitboxes, not much survival quirks but with its good hitboxes, you can twist the damage around, shielding and presenting the side torsos as necessary, allowing me in that particular match to soak 682 damage without dying. But right now, we have a different match of course, dropping the same people because it was the same stream and we are doing the Echo Line push, which is basically along Echo Line towards Echo 8 and turning to shoot into Fox 8. They're missing a lot of firepower, they have a lot of guys hanging back. Executioner, Blood Ass, Fox 8. Plus a medium and a heavy, that's a lot. Some armor there, Brios, if you need to look back. It's okay. We got quite a lot of mess here. Target spotted. Target spotted. Target spotted. Worms coming out of Gamma 9. Yep. Don't worry about the worms. Use the buildings as cover. Swing into Foxy. Swing into Foxy. New target. 
New target. Nice one. We have them in a super bad position. Target so as long as we shoot, we should be fine. Eagle is now one shot. Go on, Tell King Crab in Golf 8. I'm getting burned by something. Yeah, our lures are Golf 9. That's my Wow, they're in. Oops. Sorry, just Shot in the rear. Need assistance. Oh, do block me and burn. Oh, they're yeah, out here. Yeah, Left also. Taxi, taxi, box drop from the left side. Bumper makers, red torso is open. Let's push over. That cat is tough. Shut down. New target acquired. Oh, take one, take one. No, don't block! Hundred noobs. Nah, they were doing okay. They just were not coordinated. Is being That's captured. Take one plate is King Crab thousand times last season. There it is. Target Your NZ. acquired. Oh. Target spotted. Ah, uh, hopefully wasn't a fake. He's always like that. Target spotted. Oh, oh, all captured. these one year larges. He's one of those who have learned to hide in the rear and then just farm the core people. In the I did not even touch him. Good job, good job. You. Mm, Trove. You even kept the base. Yeah. Well, then one left high. Strong. I may have done a couple more crimes, but... So that's it ladies and gents for this video on the very brutal hag vomit marauder 2c dash D. With the dual hack 30s backed up by ER large lasers, it pushes out a lot of damage. It's unfortunate it doesn't jump, but it has that very sweet ECM. So anyway, till next time guys, uh, I'll see you around and stay salt free, have fun and smash the enemy. Bye.